Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create some cool hover effects for the site title or logo on your Squarespace website. In this tutorial, we'll be using custom CSS to create these unique hover effects. We're going to create one that will cause the logo or site title to grow on a hover, another one that will add a highlight to your site title text, we'll change the color of the title on a hover, and we'll play around with some fun filters, creating a grayscale to full color image and an inverted logo too. Lots of fun stuff to cover. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share with you are listed in the description below. And because we're doing so much in this video, I've also included timestamps in case you want to jump ahead to any specific hover effects. But without further ado, I'll go ahead and share my screen so we can get started. Here we are inside Squarespace and we have a lot to cover, my friend. These are all the codes that we're going to be working with today. The first few involve using an actual logo on your site, a logo image like this example I have right here. We'll be changing the size, giving it a shadow, changing it from grayscale to full color, and inverting the logo colors. After that, we'll switch this up to text to change the title color and give it a unique highlight. All of this involves custom CSS and we need to navigate to the CSS panel for our website. To get there, select Website, and then Website Tools, and then Custom CSS. This is where you'll add the code so it works on every page on your site. Let's start with this very first one that changes the size of the site title or logo. I'm going to copy this code right here out of my demo site, and I'll paste it into Custom CSS. Again, you'll find these codes underneath the video. I'll go ahead and remove that first line, and you'll notice the actual logo on my website has scaled down a little bit. The first part of this code pulls it back to 80% of its normal size. The next part of this code is what transforms it to be 100% when we hover over the logo. So let's go ahead and do that. See how it scales back up? Now, the reason I wanted to set this to 80% and then up to 100 is I wanted to make sure it would grow in size on a hover, but it wouldn't extend past the container the logo is in. If you make this scale to something way too big, like two, it can definitely get in the way of other things on your website. It might become too pixelated for the size of the image. Not a good look. So I like to shrink it down to 80% and then scale it up to 100%. But CSS is super customizable, so change those values to whatever suits the style for your own website. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. This one is going to create a shadow behind our logo on a hover. I'm gonna copy this code, I'll remove the one we've already added and I'll paste it right here. Now our logo just went back to 100% its normal size, but when we hover over it, we're going to get a drop shadow. Now there are lots of different parts of this drop shadow that you can change, the horizontal offset, the vertical offset, the spread of the shadow and the color. Let's say you actually wanted this to be a vibrant red, change that color value to red and now we'll get a red shadow doesn't really work with the style of my own site, but again, super customizable. So adjust those values until it looks perfect for your own site design. Next, let's take this logo from grayscale to full color. Now I actually have two codes here and I'll share the difference with you. The first one is without an opacity change. We're not gonna mess with the transparency of the logo. Let me show you how this works. We'll paste our code right here after we removed the old one. Now my logo has gone to grayscale and when I hover over it, it goes to full color. I think that's a really cool effect, but the only thing that really changes in my logo are the blue parts. The solid black part kind of stays the same. So this next code that I wrote actually changes the opacity. It makes it 50% transparent until we hover over it. Here's what that looks like. I'll paste that code right here and notice everything fades. And then when I hover over it, it becomes full color. I thought that was a more dramatic effect for my specific logo, so I wanted to make sure you had both options here. The last thing we're going to do for the actual image logo is to invert the logo colors. So let's check out that code. Here we go. I'm going to copy this code right here. I'm going to paste it in my custom CSS, and on a hover, the colors are going to completely invert. The black text becomes white, and we can't even see it, and the blue becomes red. Again, my logo has only two colors in it, so it might not be perfect for the style that you're going for. Obviously, this is not a good effect for my logo, but it could be great for yours. If you want to invert the colors completely, definitely a fun option. All right, next we're going to talk about changing the site title. We're going to adjust the color and get a, give it a highlight. I'll remove our codes. We're going to hop into edit mode, and let's remove this logo by selecting edit site header. We'll click on the site title and logo. 
we will remove the logo that's there. So now it's just title text. I'll select save and exit, and we'll back in our custom CSS. Just in case you got lost along the way, how we got to custom CSS from our main menu, you select website, website tools, custom CSS, and this is where you'll add the code. All right, let's change the color of our title on a hover. I'm gonna copy this code right here, paste it into my custom CSS, and the title will turn red when we hover over it with our cursor, just like that. Pretty cool effect. Feel free to adjust this color to anything you want it to be. This is one of my favorite shades of teal. Changes the color for me, and that's it. Now you can change more about the font style if you're comfortable with font and text properties. Maybe you want to say font weight bold, spelled correctly, there we go. I'm gonna add exclamation point important to make sure my code gets picked up. And now it becomes bold and teal on a hover. Definitely a different style logo than we had before. All right, we've got one more effect here and that is to change the background color of the title on a logo, giving it a highlight effect. I'll remove the other code and we'll add this very last one to our custom CSS. And now when we hover over the title, it gets a yellow highlight in the background. You can change this color to anything you want it to be. We'll go back to my favorite shade of teal here in a hex color code to get that highlight. Maybe I'll try something a little bit lighter so we can see the text more visibly. There we go. Change that color to anything you see fit. However you decide to customize this hover effect for your site title, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find all the codes that we just used to create these hover effects inside a Squarespace website. You'll also find links to related content. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, definitely check out those other videos. Thank you so much for watching. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like and let me know in the comments and definitely head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash email to join my email newsletter. Every single week, I'll send you tips and tricks about cool things you could do with Squarespace. Again, that's at insidethesquare.co forward slash email. Thanks again for watching. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Find everything you need to make Squarespace uniquely yours at insidethesquare.co. That's insidethesquare.co.